Alright, welcome back guys to another video of Death Stranding. Uh, thank you so much for the support and for tuning in once again. Uh, I'm pretty sure that 97% of you watching right now isn't actually subscribed to my channel, so let's go ahead and get that done right about now and drop some likes as well. No pressure, no biggie, no big deal. Alright, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Enjoy, and let's go. Alright, so it says bring Port Not City onto the Chiral Network. Alright, no problem. Alright, so as you can see guys, we're going to pick up where we left off last in the private room. Uh, just taking a little browse around the place. Alright, so I like, to, I like to make sure that everything is in order before I leave. <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and change this back. Uh, to the regular color the default color actually I don't know the red the red didn't do it for me so I'm just I'm putting it back uh, what else what else what else uh, check on BD cute little guy I wonder if he ever grows, like, you know, develop, uh, get hair and teeth and actual eyebrows, you know. You okay? I wonder if it gets to that point. Alright, but anyways, I think it's time we get out of here. And let's get back up to the mainland to get these deliveries done. Let's get connected. <laughs> You guys remember that's a raven? <laughs> that isn't what we agreed on. You said you do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. This is woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam, all check clear. the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. All right. So, well, as you said, let's go ahead and check on those orders. See what needs to be done this time around. Hmm. Hold on, is anything selected? Uh, oh no, nothing. So what am I, what am I supposed to be doing here? I have ladders, two ladders, three ladders, uh, a PCC, two PCCs, 
two boots but no packages or or, or deliveries mm. I all right so let's get out of here and drop that now that I really don't see the sense actually but yeah Alright, so this is the other mission, uh, the next step in our very long journey. Well, there's actually nothing here though. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, so I think I'll take two of these. Or do I have to select only one at a time? Um, let's see... Oh! Orders! Oh, Alright, so I don't have to select one at a time, I can actually select all of them. Well, that saves a lot of time. Alright, and... Uh, yeah. Mama's added a watchtower a schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, Consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Alright, so I'm, I guess I'll just load them all. Yeah, I think I'll just load them all. And that's about it. I have boots, I have a ladder. I think we can head out. Mm -hmm. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Alright, so now I have two orders to deliver. Um, order number seven, order number eight. Okay. Alright, let me just check something real quick. Deliver cargo. Alright, so I don't know. I don't have that yet. I think that's in the mule camp. Alright, so I have two locations and I'm in between both of them. And I am. Well, it doesn't actually show which one is closer, but. Well, it doesn't even matter which one is closer. I have to go to both of them, right? Uh, let's see here which one. Mule Camp Southwest. Begin the scan. 
Have a pleasant journey. Keep on keeping up. Keep on keeping up. Alright, so. Oh, wait, what, what? What? Is that a bike? Ooh. Weapons restrictions Let me get lifted. It. And they can't use it. That needs to be charged. Uh, Don't mind me! Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. All clear. Weapons restrictions lifted. All right, guys, you know the drill. For the interest of time. I am going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit, alright? Alright, so we've basically reached our destination at the top of this hill. Uh, before this, if we go any further, I just need to drop uh, the watchtower here. Let's see if it's good to be dropped here in this spot. Thing, guys. Uh, just a moment. Construction complete. All right, so I need to get this out of the way, basically. So, uh. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'll just need to dismantle the structure. And that way I can actually pull up the watchtower. Hopefully it goes according to plan this time. Structure dismantled. Can it even hold here? Like how large is this thing supposed to be? Like No, no, yes. Alright, there we go. Should take a little bit of time. Alright, so apparently going over that um the border right there is actually enemy territory, so I'm gonna wait out this here until Alright, so there we go. It might take a while, like 17 seconds until such time. Alright, so what am I even looking for though? Like, um, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what I should be doing here. Maybe it's not to actually do something, but it highlights or makes everything in the area pop up. Do you think that's what it does? Because it's showing a lot of stuff, a lot of information on the screen all at once, Cairo. 
crypto bike. Crypto bike? So what is that? Oh no. Alright, so I'm guessing that's what it's for. Basically, the watchtower just highlights everything in the area, the surrounding area. Pretty good thing to have. Mm, at least I can see without actually having to scan constantly. No, oh, I got pinged. Drop site really deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Alright, so years of playing Assassin's Creed has come down to this moment. This very moment. This is all this is what it's all been leading up to. You know this is actually the first time I'm actually finding shelter uh, since the beginning of the game. But they actually direct basically threw it in our faces that you should go on it um under the shell under the cave. This is actually the first time I'm actually finding shelter apart from them. It's crazy. Would have been helpful. Not cargo, but hey, who's complaining? Alright, so I'm gonna go a bit silent so I can actually focus here just a moment. Uh, let's see. Alright, so there's one over there. There's one. Where, where is that one? One, two, three. Alright, so there's three that I can see and get to. So let's take them out one by one.
find somewhere to hold up. Look around and trust your instinct. Been busy? Seems all the mules in your vicinity have been incapacitated. So I really want to actually overload my- oh god. Damn. Um, I guess I failed. Uh, but, uh, I think I can get it done. I think I can, I can do it. I think I can do it. I just need to take my time. And not splash on my face. Wow, look at that. Sometimes like these, I need a truck, or a bike, or something. Nice, so this is very painful to watch. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. Because um, this is going to take a while. This is pitiful. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, so guys, um, I actually have to just cut the video, cut to this part, basically speed it up. Um, because I normally do the voiceovers, I record then I do the voiceover. Um, well, for this video, uh, like the initial interview was supposed to be 50 minutes long, but upon doing my review that little the journey just a while ago from point A to point B, it alone was 15 to 17 minutes. Now I can't have you guys sitting down for 15 to 17 minutes just watching me walk like this. Like it was painful enough to actually play the game and have to endure the journey let alone sit and have you wise watch it so I just cut it to this point and it's still going on like Jesus it's still going uh yeah so I'm gonna cut this as well so yeah guys my apologies uh next time I won't I won't just I won't overload so we have to go through this this very sad sad you there, looking journey bridges want you Alright, so see we're finally here at the terminal and it only took 20 minutes from point A to point B. Terribly sorry again guys, next time I'll do better. Well, let's get it, let's drop this off and complete the mission. Sam, it seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities.
and the next uh, I think we need to drop off the last cargo as well Pretty sure this is going to be an S as well. Oh. Let's see. Definitely. Come on. I know this. Yeah. How are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Alright, so uh, we got this done. See you around. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. Alright, so right about now the aim is to get these things off my back so I can go ahead and take a rest um, in the private room. So yeah. I probably should recycle these but uh, I'll do it when I'm awake. Alright, so now that's off my back, literally. I think I'm gonna go ahead and well, rest up. Basically, it's been a long day. It's been a long journey. Alright, so I'm up, guys, and I'm up uh, 
So I think I'm going to close out the video right about now. Before does I get to that, I just want to say thank you guys for watching once again, for supporting and for always being here. Uh, Good morning. You can drop a like and also subscribe if you haven't. Uh, as soon as quickly as possible, I have the other video uploaded. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, you can stay and watch me take a bath. We'll take him. Watch him take a bath. Until next time though guys, stay frosty, peace.